Now this is what I'm talking about right here. They were not lying when they said giant flares, huh? All right, bring in the eye. Oh my God, we got the Zenith flare. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another what to rare you should have been video. Today we are checking out an interesting one. This one I feel like has been suggested a couple of times. It's been on the back burner. We're checking out what to rare your flare guns should have been. Oh yes sir. Who would have thought that the useless flare gun, okay maybe it's not that useless. You know it gives off a little light source. It could do a little burning damage. It goes underwater. It can be pretty useful but I find myself 99 point not i'll say 100 percent of the time i find myself 100 percent of the time just using the flare guns as ways to get you know a piece of gold or two i do not find myself using these things at all i don't care if they go underwater i don't care if they could light up from distances away i don't care if they can set things on fire i usually have torches i usually have glow sticks i'm usually good to go and i really don't need to use them plus like i said you could get money off of them so i'd rather sell them when i find them but yeah we got the og flare gun here does some uh, extra damage because i believe this mod that we have here the uh flare guns expanded mod makes it do a little bit more extra damage because 10 that's that's a lot of damage this thing has absolutely no critical strike chance does extra damage to enemies shot at point blank range i don't know if that's a vanilla thing or if that's the flare gun expanded mod no idea because like i said well why would i be using this i have no reason to be using a flare gun ever yeah let's go ahead let's hop in here we obviously got the flare gun expanded and then we got a couple other mods that i have here calamity included and flare minigun which literally adds in a flare minigun yes exactly what it says all right we're gonna start with the flare guns expanded because like it just makes more sense to get into the meat of the video i have them ordered as best as i could in damage order uh probably not progression order doesn't matter let's just see them we're gonna grab a handful here most of these are pre-hard mode and then there is some hard mode and maybe post moon lord ones i don't know started with this one the ancient flare gun does a solid two damage not that solid whoa pretty fast though what the heck i did not expect that speed it does penetrate very nice and uh i wonder if it does damage if we're point blank now nah, this stays the same plain and simple it's just like an even shittier flare gun how does that even exist i don't know next up we got gold and platinum they do a good bit of damage but that seems about it uh it's not bad like decent crowd control i'm assuming for both of them they're gonna do both decent crowd control because i mean it's gold and platinum i'm surprised the platinum doesn't do like at least like one more damage or have something a little bit better because usually the other ores are supposed to be a little bit better that's usually how it is in vanilla all right next up we got the demon and the blood flare these just very simple flare guns it doesn't seem like there's much to them let's go ahead let's bring in some more zombies uh i probably should have like flatten out the area because like i'm shooting downwards on a slope i mean it's not that bad we can still hit multiple enemies but those ones you know not too much added in there on to the next one the bee caller shoots out both flares and bees here we go we're starting to change it up a little bit let's bring out some goblin warriors and let's hit them with the bees and the flares this dude is eating shots what the why was he eating shots like that i have no idea uh, might be a little hard for the bees to hit something on a uh, slope like this, but they're, they're still getting the job done. Here, I'll just shoot at the floor and let the bees kill them. You know, one thing I'm always interested in with bee items is uh, if the hive pack works. Let's see. Let's see. Let me throw this on. If the hive pack works with this weapon, that's amazing. I don't think it does. That's usually a um, oversight, undersight, oversight, whatever one by most people that add in like bee things. I'm pretty sure there might be some vanilla terraria items that have bees that don't even get buffed by this. I think in 1.4, they changed all that though. I think everything gets buffed by the high pack. Fossil flare gun. It doesn't say anything. It's just a fossil flare gun. That's it. Just more raw damage. If you're doing a flare gun playthrough, you obviously you're going to need this mod. And uh, this is just going up in the list of higher damages all right now that we've gone through a majority of the boring ones that don't do anything we should be getting into ones that are a little bit better here we are getting our hands on some hard mode ones now next up we got the fire flare flamer now that sounds cool as hell but it looks just same old same old come on who made this mod man let me get like some double shot some triple shot you know like shoot three flares at once i got some ideas if you need some ideas just hit me up 
I should be on the Terraria developer team with the ideas I have stored inside. But yeah, next up after that, we got the Knight's Flare, which this is the Knight's Edge equivalent of the Flare Gun. I hope I said that right. Let's uh, let's see it in action here. Oh, damn. They finally switched it up with the quad shot. I was literally just talking about triple shot and double shot and everything. This is what I like to see here. Let me bring in the King Slime and let me beat his ass with this quad shot. It's doing pretty good damage. It's not bad. I like the quad shot. Uh, let's move on to the next weapon, though, and we'll probably kill him with this. Enchanted Flare Gun. Doesn't say anything. Let's see it in action. What's so enchanting about it other than it just glows? <laughs> it looks like it just glows and does more damage. Very enchanting indeed. All right, next up, we got the Adamantite and Titanium. Uh, these have auto fire, but I have Omni Swing installed, so like everything is always auto fire for me. But I guess if you don't have Omni Swing installed for some reason, you like clicking a lot in Terraria, well, there you go. These things got auto fire, which honestly is always a good addition. I think a lot of Terraria things should have auto fire. I think there should be a whole mechanic in vanilla Terraria of auto swing for people that have wrist problems. Like I used to have really bad wrist problems. They've definitely waned down and gone away, but like, hey man, Terraria, you gotta, you gotta think about that accessibility for other people next up the true knight's flare this doesn't have an ammo counter at long last that's what it says oh okay we actually switched up the flare colors i'm not gonna be mad about the flare color switching up just because like there's literally other flare ammo we're gonna check out but it's cool nonetheless to see it switch up let's bring in some reapers okay never mind they don't want to be here let's bring in some spore zombies and let's hit them with the uh, true knight's flare should do decent damage i don't know angry nimbus let's bring these guys in i gotta bring in some tankier enemies i know usually when i do videos like this i'll be summoning like the same two enemies the whole time gotta change it up sometimes next up we got the egg nighter shoots a burst of three flares that's not what i expected i thought i was gonna shoot like eggs out or something <laughs> But yeah, they're starting to get into the idea that I was thinking of shooting, you know, multiple flares at once, a burst of flares, triple flare, quad flare. I do like how they eventually come back down. It was very nice. Like, I don't even got to get shoot them. Watch, they'll come back down. Okay, they came back down in the wrong area. <laughs> That's not the area I expected them to come back down in. All right, we have our last set of flare guns from this mod, starting with the true igniter which I'm assuming this is just a stronger triple burst. Cool. Let's bring out blood jellies. They can't really move. Good. Better for us. Next up, we got the vortex chain flare. Shoots both your flares and non-piercing ones. Now, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what we've been waiting for. Some firepower from a flare gun like this. It's literally a chain gun and a flare gun put together. Beautiful. Next up, we got the Terra flare gun. Flares inflict a powerful burn effect. Okay, they changed the projectile too. Beautiful. Let's bring in a rainbow slime. What a unique enemy to bring in. So, I believe that like 10 damage it was getting hit by was the uh, flame effect. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That, that's pretty good that, that's a lot of damage like ticking at once plus shooting the enemy like you could really put out some damage so let's bring in the uh king slime here i just want to see what kind of damage we can put out while shooting and while having that burning effect on like it's pretty good and that's obviously without an armor on because this stuff does do range damage so you don't necessarily need an armor set or anything i would love in the future though that maybe they make the flares do their own damage and if not they don't have to do their own damage but just add in ranged armor sets that benefit using flare guns only next up we got the wall lighter shoots a massive amount of flares that don't pierce oh my god this feels like something a gungeon boss would shoot at you look at the amount of flares like i'm literally on fire <laughs> All right, bring in the eye. Oh my God. <laughs> that eye could totally die like immediately. Oh my God, this is amazing. If you get that point blank shot, you do some crazy damage. Look, look at that. This is amazing. This might be my favorite one so far. Next up, we got the fin gun. Hold up, this ain't a flare gun. <laughs> it's gonna shoot fins? Oh no, it shoots flares, it shoots flares. I'm assuming maybe this one's a work in progress because you know I definitely expected something else. It just seems like a normal, the higher damage flare gun. That's, that's it. Next up, we got the flare sniper. So this is going to be a single shot, but high damage. Usually that's how snipers are. Unless you got like a burst sniper. I don't know. Does a burst sniper exist? The closest thing I can think of like a burst sniper, maybe like the dragon of from like Call of Duty, that garbage ass sniper. <laughs> All right, let's bring in a tough enemy here, giant tortoise, and let's hit him with that damage. 
it's actually not too bad you can shoot pretty fast with it so honestly this low key is the dragon of <laughs> flare gun equivalent we got the solar flare here shoots giant flares this is the last one in the mod and oh my god <laughs> they were not lying when they said giant flares huh let's bring in a boss here let's bring in uh shoot i don't know let's bring in the golem let's see how the damage is against the golem it's not too bad again i'm not wearing armor that would benefit it what about if i use this oh my god this thing is amazing <laughs> i think this is the best gun in the mod or the best flare gun in the mod is this wall lighter need more of these need an upgrade of this because this thing is better than the giant flares all right let's toss these away uh but we're gonna probably just take you know give me the regular flare gun it's fine because we're gonna be taking out the special flares here let's go ahead let's grab all of them uh starting with this one the endless flare obviously you can shoot an endless amount of flares kind of like the endless musket pouch endless arrow pouch very nice always good to have next up we got specter and neo actually those are the like stronger ones Let's go to this one, the Frost Flare. So this one, I believe, is just going to put Frost Burn on enemies or Frost Fire. Yes, sir. I love Frost Burn. It's got to be one of my favorite, like, early game debuffs you can get your hands on. You get that, you mix it with just, like, regular burning arrows or something. You could do some damage to some bosses, man. Next up, we got the Meteor Flare. This one seems like a very, very fast flare. So let's go ahead. Let's see it against some enemies here. Uh, I kind of wish it bounced like meteorite bullets that would make it a little bit more unique mod developer if you're watching this wink wink uh next up we got the curse flame one and the ikor one obviously we understand what these are gonna do curse flame ikor great debuffs make life a lot easier when using them especially ikor ikor gotta be one of the best debuffs in terraria next up we got specter and neo no idea what these are gonna do maybe specter goes to the floor yes sir that's exactly what i expect from specter things honestly so i don't know i didn't think of that all right let's uh let's spawn some enemies like up here and then i'm gonna shoot them through the floor just to really show it off there you go and then we got neo no idea what this is gonna do are they talking about like neo from the matrix i have no idea what do these do are these just better flares like i have no idea at all it seems like they maybe do like a burning damage or something wither let's bring out a wither beast that's a nice tanky enemy oh my god what the heck <laughs> that did some damage right there let's bring out king Slime. oh my god that's numbers on numbers right there man looking like we took off the immunity frames okay not bad not bad i definitely underestimated this one see i was gonna say i wonder if you could combine this together but like i think some flare guns if they don't have an ammo counter they only shoot their flares because it would be op combining certain ones but i think we can combine this one actually the uh vortex chain flare oh yes so this one you know we can really do some damage with it. we got the neo flares on top of just regular flares it shoots good damage and last but not least we got the zenith flare if i do another zenith video i gotta remember that there's a zenith flare in this mod okay i think the zenith flare is just like a heavy damage flare oh hold up it puts debuffs on it does a lot more than just do damage by just shooting and hitting something with it look at that damn yeah it puts a lot of debuffs on whatever it hits pretty good pretty good again if i combine these together you know we could do some serious damage hold up let's bring out a hard mode enemy plantera okay yeah, decent damage against plantera it is enraged plantera oh there's another queen bee here you know i guess we might as well fight queen bee too let me whip out the real weapon here let me see how plantera fares against this okay she, she's able to eat some of the hits but she's definitely taking a lot more damage to this than the other one we gotta remember i'm not wearing armor too like imagine me putting on some armor and really doing some damage that's where things can get dangerous all right on to the other mods we got installed here boom boom let's just grab everything starting with this one the flare minigun your light in the darkness shoots regular flares i don't think this one requires ammo and it also does not make a noise which i guess kind of cool <laughs> you don't gotta be annoyed by noise let's see it in action though I don't think it's gonna do too much damage i think this is like 100 percent a joke weapon this is like the equivalent of the like water gun until somebody makes like an actual water gun class yo imagine that someone makes like a fully fledged water gun class that's like not a joke like they be using like water pressure 
like all kinds of details who's gonna do it which mod developer is gonna do it all right while the king slime bounces around let's go to the calamity flare guns here because calamity has a good bit of flare guns you can mess with let's go ahead let's pull up the recipes here and as you can see oh there's another one that i missed the spark spreader see it's good that i checked the recipe and then you got this one the firestorm cannon the firestorm cannon goes into the spectral storm cannon and this storm cannon goes into the elemental blaster yeah let me grab what was it spark spreader See, I knew I was missing one. Maybe I'm missing more than one. But let's see the spark spreader here. This seems like it's just like a flamethrower rather than a flare gun. I'm assuming uh, a couple of these are going to turn into more than just a flare gun. But not bad. But let's check out this one. Firestorm can. Right click to fire a spread of flares. This extra damage to enemy shot at point blank range. Okay. So we do more damage point blank. We shoot a lot more flares at once. And then right click to do that sort of shotgun blast. Which makes sense because I believe a shotgun is a part of the recipe or a boomstick. All right, next up we got the Spectral Storm Cannon. Fires a storm of lost souls and flares. Does section damage point blank again. Oh, finished them off really quickly. Let's bring in uh, Queen B here. And let's just see like the distant damage. Not bad. We get point blank. Does a little bit more. You can see the souls coming out of it. Very nice. The souls do a lot of extra damage. And last but not least here, the Elemental Blaster. Fires a storm of rainbow blasts. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful noise. I love that noise. That sarcasm, by the way. I hate it. Duke Fishron with 10,000 health because of the Calamity mod. All right, hold up. Let's go over here. Now, how much health does he have? 10,000 still, but he's actually taking damage. Damn. I did not put the world on like expert or anything. This is like a normal world. So if that really is Calamity buffing it, like holy shit, Calamity. Calm down. <laughs> Golem. Golem it is. Let's hit him in his core. Honestly, he's not doing as much damage as I thought it was going to do. I got to bring out a weaker enemy. It seems like a weaker enemy is going to make it look stronger. There we go. <laughs> there is the elemental blaster. Cool. I think I like the spectral storm cannon the best, though. I think it was my favorite one out of those. But yeah, there you go. That is what Terraria flare guns should have been. They got a little extra, extra uniqueness to them little extra flavoring seasoning in i don't know why i'm using that to describe this but i like the idea of expanding stuff that's just like really just put in as a one-time thing i'm not saying that everything has to get expanded obviously that's never the case but it's always fun seeing mods that expand upon things especially something as like crazy as flare guns like expanding flare guns like i said if somebody makes a water gun class you know i'm gonna be the first one to check that out but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave more weapons items classes whatever that you want to see expanded uh, i know a couple of them i have had like in the chamber sitting in the backlog like one of them is shields one of them is scythes I haven't found like a good enough scythe class uh shields is possible but like i feel like i need a lot of mods installed for shields to be expanded because like a lot of mods touch on touch upon shields and expand them in certain ways and then there might be a couple others that i have laying around in some notepad that i wrote down as a video idea but you guys leave some more suggestions too i'll see you on the next video